Hi Capricorn and welcome to your love story tarot reading for April 2020. For April, I am going to look at your soulmate, your deepest romantic soul bond you will have this lifetime. And some of you may have yet to meet this person, some of you may be in union with this person, and some of you may be in separation with this person. So I'm going to start by pulling a chakra card to see which chakra you're attached to this lifetime. Nice, Capricorn. We've got the star soul chakra coming out and we have divine wisdom. So you and the soulmate are uh, twin flames, soulmates, eternal soulmates for many, many, many lifetimes. But also being attached at the star soul chakra, you and the soulmate are going to learn a lot of different soul lessons through each other and your union and everything that you go through in this relationship. It's quite divine. In fact, um, because this is coming out as the star soul chakra, um, you guys are completing um, a really big cycle that you've been working on with your soul evolution. So this lifetime is very significant for you and your soul, especially this relationship. Um, you guys, there's nobody else in this world that you will ever connect to the way that you do this person. Like there is something very special and um, you know, there will be, you will never be able to replace this person and they feel the same way about you because of the way you're connected and the lessons that you're here to learn. And this is again, a very significant lifetime for both of you as well as this relationship. So let's pull some major arcanas and look at your energy specifically and your soulmate's energy. So we have the magician coming through for one of you. Trying to make that not glare for you guys. Uh, all right, and next we have temperance. So some of you, this could definitely be a Sagittarius that you are, um, that is your soulmate. I was going to say that you're involved with, but that is your soulmate, okay, with temperance coming out. Now, what I see with one of you showing as the magician and the other one showing as temperance is um, initially I feel there is a, element of uh, maturity like one of you is uh, maybe a little more established um, in life than the other when you come into union and um, over here this person really begins to learn their true potential and what they're capable of through this relationship and the connection everything that they experience as well as the like love and the support they get from this person and again this person there's just more balance to them in general whether it's like their life um, the way they think about things their emotional body the way they perceive things um, you know this person I just feel has it a bit more together in some capacity over this person and through this union this person learns a lot from this individual and grows and becomes stronger and actually achieves um, some of their greatest uh, feats side by side with this person here and now when we come over to temperance this is a person who um, has to be very balanced. If things get like, um, you know, too chaotic or out of control, this person has a really hard time dealing with that. They're a person who really likes evenly balanced energy. They don't like a lot of drama. Um, they don't like to gossip or anything like that. They, um, there's a bit of a spiritual evolution about this person that's just very apparent to all who encounter like um, you're an old soul this person's been told or you always have the right advice or you just you always seem to know what's going on and so this person very balanced um, however when things get crazy they have a much harder time dealing with that type of energy opposed to this person so over here we'll learn a lot of how to navigate you know those crazier energies through the stability and strength of this person um, because again this person I feel has had more like uh, struggle and challenge in life in general 
opposed to this person and so they've kind of been in the trenches they are resourceful they're very clever um, they know how to make ends meet there's also an element of magic about this person um, and their ability to manifest things for themselves and that comes because again star soul chakra you guys are completing a, a much larger cycle than a lot of other people walking on this earth at this time so let's pull some tarot and I'm sorry you hear all that crazy noise outside my house. I have no idea what it is. And the window is way too far away for me to go take a peek. Okay, messenger of emotions and messages from the heart. Six of flames, admired, noticed, spotlight. Solo journey, dark night, reflection, soul searching. Three of roses, cooperation, project teamwork. And nine of thoughts, anxiety, fear, haunted mind. Okay. So we're going to start right here with the solo journey, dark night, reflection, soul searching. Um, now, as I said at the beginning of the reading, Capricorn, this could be somebody you've yet to meet. And this is just like a snapshot of what your relationship is going to be. Or some of you may currently be in union with this person. Or some of you may actually be separated from this person at this time. Because we do have this um, solo journey, dark night, reflection, soul searching. So at some point in this connection, I feel like you guys either separate, like there's a breakup, or there's a period of this relationship where there's a lot of distance and disconnection within the relationship, and that's because of this solo journey. Somebody's having a profound awakening um, this lifetime, and they have to go through a bit of that dark night of the soul energy. And I feel this is more attached to the magician, um, but it could go both ways because remember you guys are attached at the star soul chakra and there's a major soul lesson that is meant to be gained by both of you this lifetime through this connection and it's a bigger deal than you know um, some of the other things going on in your life like there's a lot of um, importance and significance around what's achieved at the soul here between the two of you in this connection and so when you guys um, are going through that period of distance within the relationship or you outright break up, um, that needs to happen because that's when the dark side, dark night of the soul um, is happening for one or both of you because somebody has to really shed an, uh, like an old skin, a lot of old thoughts, a lot of patterns of behavior and really um, like rapidly awaken and mature and I feel it's the magician and like the temperance is kind of already there and it's when we come together that's what sparks this in the magician because um you know there's like some incompatibility of frequency and energies and once you know this separation this dark night of the soul happens and you guys move through that um here's where we come back together cooperation project teamwork and it's like it's a much better fit and the thing is the whole way through capricorn i see a lot of love between you and this person um, a lot of love and, you know, admired, noticed, spotlight. There will never be another person. I mean, you could be attracted to somebody. You could like somebody. Um, but what this person brings into your life, there is nobody else. It's like, I will stand by you through thick and thin no matter what. Um, that's just the perception of it. And um, it's just the unique connection and, and the way that you feel with each other and you know, in the conscious mind, you may not be aware of it, but at the soul, you know what you are supposed to achieve with each other. And so when we go through this separation or this um, like long-term um, emotional distance within the relationship, it's because there is shedding you going into your cocoons to emerge as a new form, um, a new energy, a new frequency. And in that space, you guys are very much on the same page and um, work with each other much more. There's much 
much more teamwork and cooperation happening opposed to like butting heads or having any friction. And then anxiety, fear, haunted mind. Um, that right there, I feel is uh, speaking of two different things. When, you know, there's this emotional distance or an outright breakup, separation, there's a lot of fear in both of you because through the separation, it becomes even more apparent to both of you how special this connection or relationship truly was. And you could like people, you could be into people, but those are like fleeting um, emotions and experiences compared to the depth that you feel here with this person. So there's a lot of fear, um, you know, through the separation of forever loss and I'll never love again. But also when we're together, there's a lot of anxiety um, and insecurities that play out at different points in time. Just because you guys mean so much to each other, it can um, really overwhelm you guys at different points, like that fear of losing um, your partner because of this bond, this connection, and the unique uh, nature of the way you guys see and perceive and experience each other. And also with that nine of thoughts, what I feel is, you know, once we move past this, emotional distance or um, we you know come back in union there's a fear of like the other shoe will drop and it's because like this just means so much to you this relationship in general it just means so much it's a kind of a scary thing you know because nobody's ever going to get you and understand you like this person and vice versa and it has to do with where we're connected at that star soul chakra and so even when you guys are apart or separated um, the haunted mind you still feel their presence they still feel your presence and you both might feel quite haunted by the energy of the other Let's pull some more cards and clarify a little further these messages here. And you know, um, those of you who are single, it could be like where you are single for a very long period of time um, before you come into this union with this person. All right, so the card that jumped out was paradise, happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. And that's coming out under the messenger of emotions, um, messages from the heart. So that's your bond. That's your connection. That's the basis of it. And that's why um, you guys may struggle with a bit of insecurity from time to time because it just it feels like such a perfect fit. Like I, I'm afraid I don't want to lose this. I don't want to lose you. So girl with the snake, empath, narcissist, paradigm, being charmed and used, enable, and boundaries. So this coming out um, is talking about, you know, this uh, emotional distance that may take place uh, within this relationship or that when we break up, um, you know, that's it's going to play out either separate like emotional distance and separation in the relationship or outright break up. And when that happens... Um, one of you may feel kind of used and taken advantage of, you know, like just it's not perceived correctly is what I'm trying to get at. It's really not. It's the reason why those thoughts um, are, you know, rampant is because of what it felt like to lose this. And then also the circumstances around in which this parts. I don't really see like spirits not really giving me the reason um, why you guys would go into a separation or an emotional distance. Um, and Spirit was very clear with that in the other readings, but let's get through the rest of the cards and I'll pull some more because I am curious, like what brings in this wedge, this distance. Under Solo Journey, we have Photograph, um, looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia. <clears throat> so those of you you know, that go through this separation, again, you're kind of haunted by each other and you're still looking in on each other's social media, thinking about each other. It's like, even though physically you're separated, you never really separated emotionally or um, spiritually. And we have Cupid's arrow, have faith, love is coming, surprise, invitation or meeting, hesitation. And so this is Cupid's arrow under this three of roses. And this is talking about like, 
the reconnection or the reunion and it's a different energy uh, quite surprising it's somebody really um, you know evolves here and lastly look at this butterfly relationship evolving into the next phase healing the inner child growth and I talked about being in a cocoon and you know transforming into a different version of yourself outside of this dark night of the soul energy and um, you know that being at the center and that being the the split the separation or the distance um, dark night of the soul is when it's time to completely shed uh, like everything of who you think you are and everything you think you know about life and existence and your place within it so um, you know one or both of you could go through this process and it, it's very intense and there's a lot of um, you know changes and emotions that take place during this process but on the other side you know you transform into a completely different person and um, I feel like that transformation has to take place in order for this connection to have that longevity to it as it's intended to so I really feel um, a lot of this dark night has to do with the magician energy but this is a general reading so both of you um, you know through a breakup or just a big uh, distancing in the relationship you're both kind of going through that dark night of the soul energy and you emerge on the other side you know stronger than ever um, in a whole different relationship even though there may be some fear that will fall back into old patterns or you know the other shoe will drop I don't see that as the case I see a beautiful evolution that takes place for you after you move beyond this um, solo journey energy and again those of you single that have yet to meet this person um, you've got to go through that dark night of the soul and transform into something else in order to be compatible and in alignment with this person that you're meant to be with this lifetime so let's pull some heart and soul messages and this is talking about the emotional distance or when you're in separation and you know some of you in union very well could have already gone through this okay it doesn't mean that this is this is like what's about to happen some of you this has already happened and you're like yep this is my this is my twin flame this is my soulmate this is my story all right we have ego i haven't learned from our experiences i will only hurt you again heart i don't show it so you don't know how special you are to me and another ego, I take more than I give. Yeah, and that's why somebody really must go through this dark night of the soul because um, it's like their their conscious mind has really been programmed with a lot of shadowy energy of the earth plane and the, the evolution of their soul is not in alignment with that. Like, um, this is a being attached here. You both are very evolved beings, like old souls, okay? And one of you, it's just like, has really gotten tangled up in, um, like, the programming um, of the shadow energy. And that's what this dark night of the soul is about to, you know, deprogram and you know allow that uh, true understanding and recognition and rise to the true level of enlightenment and evolution that this soul is and um, you know some of you this dark night energy has a lot to do with shedding emotional baggage and traumatic experiences through childhood or other relationships that you've been in in order for you to be at that higher level of vibration to align to your true soulmate all right let's pull some advice voyage set sail on a new course and you know after the dark night of the soul that's what it is you guys um, are just on a new path with each other you understand each other differently and um, somebody's really evolving beyond some you know uh, drama trauma um, emotional baggage or just you know a lot of uh, programming and indoctrination that's happened th on their life journey up to this point and so this separation emotional distance dark night of the soul journey is to like um, you know declutter um, the reprogramming of the conscious mind so that like the vibration can rise and then you guys are very compatible and what you struggled with in the past is no longer an issue whatsoever um, again you guys are old souls and 
this life, this journey, this experience with each other is much more significant um, than most of the other readings that I've done just because of what I see here and being connected at the star soul chakra. And those of you that um, identify as star seeds, this would definitely be somebody from your home frequency where you guys are both on mission here in this lifetime and um, you have a lot to achieve and um, one of you has just really gotten sucked into like the the shadow uh, programming of the earth plane and the other might help pull out um, of that but really with the solo journey it's like an inside job and it's just a natural process that's going to happen and take place so those are your messages Capricorn I'm sending you all lots of love and light take care